Hello everyone, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Too Bad by We I. So this is We I's latest comeback and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe their last comeback was Bye Bye Bye. And seriously, correct me if I'm wrong because I would never forgive myself if I missed the We I comeback and I'm didn't check it out because I loved Bye 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 so much. It was so fantastic. It was heavily in my regular rotation. I still listen to it here and there. Um, but I'm at that point where I'm just ready to be wowed. Um, I'm ready to be swept off my feet by these guys. You know, obviously we're familiar with Kim Dong-an, uh, Sokha. We checked out Kim yo dessert recently. And so that's like half the group, you know. I'm not a, you know, a full-on fan. I don't know everyone's names yet, but... That's like half the group, so we're almost there. Um, I, I think just if this song manages to sweep me off my feet, I think I'm gonna be in. But before we get into the video, though, real quick, if you guys enjoy our content and you would like to support the channel, consider visiting us over at patreon.com slash formatherapy. Over on our Patreon, we do listening parties. I'm not sure if We Ice Too Bad is accompanied with an album. If it is, we'll be doing a listening party for it next month. Uh, you can join us for that. We also check out bonus content for variety content, survival shows, K-dramas, and a whole lot of more stuff. So if you want to check that out, come visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash formatherapy. Of course, you don't have to support us monetarily. Just simply like the video down below and subscribe down below. Those are free, easy ways to help out the channel. All right, let's get into the video. This is Too Bad by We I, and this is your form of therapy. Hmm. The logo's vibe is interesting. The pink on green, that's usually like a summer color scheme. Intro's interesting. What? what is this vibe? Hold on. My goodness, wait, wasn't that guy the rapper in Bye Bye Bye? <laughs> oh my goodness he's the rapper oh my god so we can sing too holy moly his vocals were heavenly damn this pre-chorus is magical though oh that's great This was like a guitar. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh all right. Who is this guy? I believe this guy's name is Yoma. He caught my attention last time, so I think, I, I, I think his name is Yoma. And then Yoan. So, do they have three rappers in the group? Uh, Sokha's voice is, I feel like, the MVP of this song. Him and Yohan's. 
And this guy. Who's this guy? Okay. Okay. I gotta admit, I love that song. It's definitely not what you expect from today's modern boy group. The poppier, uh, uh, sugary bubblegum pop type of pop song. But... I love it. Uh, I, I think it's a, rather a difficult concept to pull off, especially um, if you're a male guy group rather than um, a boy group. I think the younger you are as a group, it's easier to pull off a concept like that. But I think they pulled it off extremely well. I, I think the song also towed the line between having portions of like switching it up and adding um, some heavier textured parts, uh, adding in some hip hop elements, uh, especially during those rap breaks that really gives the song a much more exciting, diverse feeling. And if there was a song to really set me over and get like forcing me to get to know these guys, it was definitely this music video. It was definitely this song. I really, really loved it. Um, I thought Johan and Sokwa's voices were kind of like the MVPs of the song. And this guy, uh, I really like this guy's voice too. You know what? Hold on. It, also, I realized if if this guy's name is Johan, that means I know more than half the group's name, which at this point, that's just two more names. So hold on. Let me go pull up their names real quick. All right. So guy right here, his name is Taehyun. Uh, he's actually the leader. And then this is Chunzo, who is actually the Mangne. So two very key positions. Uh, so Taehyun and Chunzo. Okay. Yeah, I really liked uh, Chunzo's voice because Chunzo had a very, I feel like, very pretty voice that suited the song really well. Um, uh, I thought Johan's voice, he had a very cute, very sweet type of voice that I think fit the song really well. Um, but the thing about Sokwa's voice that why I really liked his, uh, for me, his voice was my favorite on the song because he has a much more heavier tone to his voice, uh, a little bit like not as sweet and cute as the other's voices. But I think because of that, it provides like a really nice, warm, comforting, different contrast to the song, whatever he sang. And also this guy, his, his name is Yonga, I, I confirmed it. And wow, he can sing. Like, he can sing, sing. He, his falsetto was very beautiful. Like, what is up with, like, the new generation of K-pop idols where uh, even the rappers, even the most talented of rappers, can also sing. Like, I mean, like, sing, sing. That's quite incredible. Um, uh, his, uh, Taeyeon's rapping was also really, really engaging too. I mean, his rapping has been catching my attention for quite a while, but I think it really stands out in this song, especially just because the song is such a lighthearted affair. Um, favorite bits of the song, uh, one, there's nothing particularly unique and special about the music video that I want to point out in terms of the production, but I really enjoyed it. I think that's what I really want to compliment the music video on. It, does, it doesn't feel like just another music video to showcase the song and then get out of here, you know? Like, it doesn't feel like just the obligatory, we made a music video. The music video was fun. It was fun. It was entertaining to watch. Even having um, little moments like it was after the first chorus right here, like this part. Not too bad. Oh, yes. Nick, I got the Even just the... Yes, and then that shot of him was, I thought, so clever. It's funny. Adding in little bits of humor, I think it, it was great. I think just overall, like, uh, all the B, like, all the B scenes of, like, the storyline of, like, uh, them, like, on top of this thing, like, looking out or, like, looking for the girl or, like, doing this, like, it's not a a drug deal like a love deal I, I i don't know what you would call this like they were all fun uh i i think a lot of k-pop music videos these days are so focused on making really cool music videos and that's great and all but it's nice to occasionally have fun videos videos with a little bit of humor in them and a little bit of excitement in them. i i think really j park set a new standard in my brain of like oh we could be doing better guys we could be making fun videos we can make we could be making really entertaining videos like i think 
vibes like this is what gives your videos much more replay value, like authentic, genuine replay value from people who are even casual listeners and people who just want to listen to the song, not just people who are um, like doing the whole like feeding them views type of thing just because um, they're trying to get their numbers up or uh, help them out. Uh, I feel like when you have a video that's this fun and this good, it's just, it's, it's going to happen naturally. Um, also, I really enjoyed, if I can find... I really enjoy the pre-chorus right here. Na, 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 na. And that, that, that top line there is really, really great. I also really like this one part that Kim Yuan does. I don't know why I like that part so much. This part right here. This is... Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it. This is my favorite shot in the entire music video. I have no idea why. It's a combination of, I really like Johan's voice in that moment. It sounds really, really sweet. And I like the move that he's doing, but I also like how the camera goes in. Like the camera movement, I think really accentuates that movement in like a very visually pleasing way. It's like my weird ASR, ASMR moment, but like visually, like it's a satisfying. <laughs> Something about that shot is just so satisfying. I, I don't know why, man. But that's my favorite shot in the entire video. Um, overall, We Eyes Too Bad, I gotta give it like a 9 out of 10. Um, I would say the music video, I will give it like a 9 out of 10. The song, I want to give it like a 9 out of 10. Uh, you know, I think the song is a 10 out of 10 like a personal score but i think just like just to remain a little objectivity i think i do love bye 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 like way 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 more so i have to give it like a i can't say that this song is perfect but uh i do love it extremely a lot so in the music video too i think it's a lot of fun um you know i i don't know exactly what i would change about it i i, I think you know bye 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 is just Maybe a little too still fresh in my mind, but objectively, or maybe is my bias scored the 9 out of 10? I don't know. Listen, at the end of the day, guys, my opinion doesn't really matter. Who gives a shit, right? As long as the song is great and the video is great. And the song is great and the video is great. So, uh, yeah, too bad. I'm going to give it like a 9 out of 10. I don't know why. It just, it feels more right. It just isn't at the same level as bye 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 but it's also not the same song as bye 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 i i don't want to compare it to bye 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 because bye 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 is very much a dance song too bad is a very cute flowery pop song bubblegum pop song so they're remotely not even in the same league but i'm still doing it um but guys i want to know your thoughts it doesn't matter what i think it matters what you think what did you guys think about we eyes too bad you know i could understand if it's not for some people's tastes uh, i think the very cute, flowery, youthful boy group vibe is not done a lot in K-pop nowadays, but, and also when it's done, it's very difficult to pull off in my opinion, but I think they pulled it off well and I really enjoyed it. But I'd like to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, guys, thank you for checking out my reaction review to We Eyes Too Bad. Uh, if you would like to support us directly, please consider visiting our Patreon. We have bonus content over on there. Of course, if you don't want to support us monetarily, you could always hit the like button down below. Uh, leave a comment. Remember, if you interact with our videos, it helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Go ahead and subscribe over here. Hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video. Check out our other videos over here, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Have a wonderful day.